Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday, 27th of March. This is last week in March, 12th week of the trading year. Uh, been a decent year so far, but got to stay humble. Got to uh, keep your head down. Uh, take it day by day. Let's see what happens here uh, today. Let's go dollar yen. Um, Popped up yesterday to the highs of, uh, I guess, 70, yeah, 131.75, and straight back down here. If you look on the hourlies here, this does look like um, at the open here, we're going to pop through 50, 130, 50 at the open, and, and we'll have to see if um, yields and risk are collaborating or if not, but uh, straight down overnight in Tokyo. This helped us get paid in Euro Yen, uh, which we talked about on Twitter. Uh, you know, we were trying to fade this thing up at 142. The high was 142.19. Um, we really didn't, 07 was the real high before we started trading it. It was back down to 56. We got ourselves into a nice average. Um, we just squared that. Have some coffee here. Um, we just squared that kind of harvesting because the euro um, is moving into strength, and this looks like for us, this looks more like a dollar negative story than a risk off story. Um, but that remains to be seen. A lot of uh, our smart comrades out there, colleagues fellow portfolio managers uh, say differently on this. They're very worried about also the system itself in the European system as well, so they're not super keen on euros. I think euro, euro dollar is going to 120, um, but time will tell. Let's look at gold. That has been tricky yesterday. Slammed down to... Uh, 1943 back up here at 58 uh, this over the weekend I probably should have mentioned it but it's crowded right it's very crowded this gold trade and um, so what does that mean I'm not really sure I still I still like gold um, higher probably means we're just going to have to consolidate here between sort of, I would say, 1916, 1900, we'll call it, and 2000. So that's a big range. It's a $100, $100 range. It's not super helpful, 5% range, but buying low ones makes sense. <clears throat> right now, we're not long gold. Um, we're going to be patient, thinking maybe that we are going to there is going to be a puke. Um, I don't know. We seem to be a little bit out of touch with gold. I mean, we got paid on last Wednesday by picking up low ones, two big days up, and we got FOMO um, up at, you know, we, we got long at 78, uh, end of the day on Friday puked that um, yesterday. I just kind of gave up on it. But gold is crowded. This is the problem with gold right now. I mean, I would say it should be higher, but I guess too many people have this trade on. Euro Norway, uh, our old friend or foe, frenemy, let's just call him. Um, this should be lower now. Crude is up 5% yesterday. Um, we like selling high ones, Euro Norway. Let's look at this crude. Um, we talked about this turn. We actually got long, 70.13, paid out at 80, tried to buy back at 30. And then, you know, it was 3 p.m. when this move happened, 3, 4, 5 p.m. This move here in particular just caught us by surprise, 71.30 all the way up to basically 73.11. Um, but 
we've talked about how the technical people out there were, were saying the oil should be higher. This bar confirms it. Now it's a buy on dip. Um, where to buy it, I don't know. It's uh, it's tough after a 5% bar. This could go all the way down to 71, 50. Could really go down to 70, 40. Um, and then bounce. A lot could happen with gold, but uh, oil. But super important bar, uh, oil's turn. It's a good dollar cad. This thing is like hemorrhoidal. It's such a pain in my ass. Here we are, 136.30, the low from, I guess that was Thursday last week, where we were talking about salivating break traders. Um, with crude 5% higher, it's no surprise. 30 should break today. Um, again, we're not going to fuck around with dollar cat until our hockey-loving brothers are, are in. Uh, but keep an eye on 136.30, uh, downside dollar cat. Finally, let's look at cable. No horse in this race right now, but we're creeping, we're slowly creeping up on this 124.45. I mean, I can remember clear as day talking about this in January, going, gosh, um, that's a break trade if I've ever seen one. And I think I commented, I'm like, is 124.45 going to trade, or is 118.50 going to trade? Uh, that's the neckline of this big double top. The neckline did trade, but it didn't work. And here we are. We're back quite quickly uh, with a vengeance. Um, we got Bailey speaking today. I don't think today is the day. I only bring this up um, because as we approach, get close to this level, this will attract, um, there's going to be some monsters up there of the trend-following world. Uh, this you can be sure of. So be aware, 124.45, put it in the book. There'll be some money to be made there. Um, and if you want to fade it up there, like today, if you're like, wow, that's going to be like a three sigma move today from, from the 50-day you know, moving average, you might want to give it some room because there's going to be some powerful buying uh, through 45 when we get there. Not too much else. Uh, you know, we're going to focus on this dollar yen at the open. We think this is going to get through 50, so we're short a little dollar yen here. Um, Euro yen is square. We'll be buying dips in, in oil, uh, selling high ones in Euro Norway. Uh, and watching closely this 136.30 level in CAD. The meat of the global macro uh, releases are at the end of this week. Uh, we, ironically, will be in Paris. Not ironically, weirdly. We're going to be in Paris on Thursday and Friday. Um, but we will be watching, uh, especially the Friday numbers, which is CAD, GP, GDP, and the core PCE price index so inflationary indications 230 friday plus cad gdp that's going to be super interesting thursday we got us gdp uh and you know the typical unemployment claims um, but those are the most important on the back end here uh, and those are going to be driving rates and currencies that's all i got for you oh yeah let's look at rates We are long. Um, we are long this stuff. I don't know. The average is around. Uh, it's trading at one thirty sixty now. We're long at one thirty one. Um, being patient with this. Uh, so we're long at basically I would say three fifty. Um, in the yield, uh, we don't think. We're a little bit surprised this is above the 200-day here, which is uh, the 200-day yield, which is 350. But we do expect uh, at the end of this week to be testing again this sort of 330 area. So we got a gentle fade on up here. Bit of a surprising day yesterday on absolutely no um, no global macro change. The SVB thing got resolved, but. 
we think yields have to stay low uh, for longer. We'll see. That's all I got for you guys. Good luck out there, peeps. Uh,